Hey, good morning crafters. Um, I am back again with another paper piecing video and um, this one is actually going to be um, a title piece. So that's something that I haven't shown yet. Um, I did want to mention a couple things. First of all, this is um, a Miss Kate Cuttables file that I actually purchased in the Silhouette Design Store and it's just called Trick or Treat Title. Um, it's a real cute file. Currently, today's date, <laughs> it's October 25th, 2016, and uh, the file is on sale for 74 cents instead of 99 cents. So if you happen to be watching this video uh, today or within the next couple days, you should be able to get the sale price. So the other thing I was going to mention is that I cut this out at actually 300%. Um, I really wanted it to be a good size piece. It's still not huge, but um, it's a nice workable size. And then the one other thing I was going to mention is that on this top layer, I tried to cut the two spider web pieces, but um, I think my blade is a little dull, and so um, the, pa uh, the paper was tearing. Um, under the blade and so I just went ahead and took my uh, my white gel pen here and went ahead and just drew in the spider webs so um, you know for a crafted piece I think it's fine so um, I'm, we're just gonna go with that so let's go ahead and get started so there are a couple of shadow pieces here um, the white is gonna be the base the middle piece I did in a nice light gray. So I'm going to use my uh, Tombow Mono Aqua Glue. And just get my hands in the right place here. I've got my camera set up in front of me. Ooh, careful. I just realized, don't get too close to the edge. Because the this is still one of the background pieces. It doesn't have that big of a reveal edge, but hopefully I All right, sorry about that. Uh, my camera shut down on me. <laughs> my memory was full. So I had to delete a few things. So anyway, we were in the middle of this. I am uh, about to put some glue here on the word trick. So let me just get some dots. All right, that should be more than enough. And um, I'm just going to follow along uh, the edge of the black piece. And yes, this will cover up some of that spider web, which is just fine. My imperfect webs, maybe it'll help to have them slightly hidden. <laughs> All right, so I am going to attempt to nudge this into place. That looks pretty darn good. So there is your trick. And it's going to say trick or treat, but um, I'm going to go ahead and do the treat first. And then that way I'll know where I need to put my or. The words will be very close to each other, but that's okay. Just want to make sure everything's legible. I've noticed on some titles, they're so busy making them look fun that all of a sudden you're like, I can't even read that. There's too much going on. I also made a title once with, um, I put the wording 
in a pattern paper and again it ended up being too distracting whoops and so that wasn't my best idea I suppose if the words were like really massive and the pattern on the paper was super petite but that's not it's not how mine was okay so I'm going to put the word treat in I guess I'll start with the T make sure that's okay there we go oh isn't that cute I love titles And you know, I don't know what your local craft store might look like, but the few craft stores um, around us, there are literally aisles, multiple aisles of nothing but titles and sticker sheets. And even though they're adorable, it's overwhelming. It's honestly overwhelming. And I could, you know, I just stand there and I'm reaching for stuff because it's cute, but I don't really have a purpose for it and it just gets a little crazy. So I actually like, really like having the ability to just print off my own titles um, here at home. And obviously it saves you money. And then you can make it say anything you want. You can put someone's name in a title Obviously, the store-bought titles are all uh, generic because, you know, they want to make sure that anybody could purchase them. I like the personalization of making a custom piece. All right, so let's see how I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to tip it just a bit, and I really want to use this space here and just oh look that worked out beautiful nice trick or treat very cute now the file comes with all of these little bitty stars and really you just get uh, two of each size but I just went ahead and ran them off multiple times uh, in different papers to match the wording because this way I can just kind of sprinkle them around the title wherever I'd like and I've got plenty to choose from. Um, since I'm not ready to put this down on a project sheet I'm going to just go ahead and leave those stars alone for now. Um, and there's these adorable bats that come with the file as well. So I'm going to take the littlest bat and I think I'm going to try to coax out a little more of my Tombow Mono multi glue. Oh, good. Because see, this way I can get these super, super precise little dots, which is just what I want. This is my old bottle. The label's gone. There's very little product left, but I'm going to use it up until the absolute moment I can't. Okay, so when this lays down, if I can move it, all right, when this lays down, the moon is supposed to be behind it. And of course, you can do whatever you'd like, but I think this looks cute. And then one of these little bats here, I want it to be exposed, so I'll just tuck him right there. And then the other little bats, again, you can just have them flying around your title. Whoops, and sprinkle your little stars all over. And then you end up with a very, very cute title for your page. And again, um, even at 300%, this file um, is still card, um, the right size for a card front. Um, if you did a, a landscape orientation card instead of a portrait style, um, you'd have plenty of room. You could put a really cute little uh, rectangle of pattern paper, Halloween pattern paper behind this, and there you go, a darling card front. So um, whatever you'd like to do, it's your decision to make. So thank you again so very much for sitting with me through another video. I am having an absolute blast making these, so uh, you can look forward to many, many more to come. 
Um, again, this is part of my Halloween series, which is going to go on until officially um, October is over. Um, and then I'm probably going to move on to some more autumn and Thanksgiving themed items. Uh, make a few pilgrims, make a few turkeys, make a few Indians, make a few whatever. Uh oh, I just realized Native American. I'm sorry, I just said Indians. Um, but whichever terminology you prefer. Um, so if you like this video, I would love it if you clicked like, and then certainly I'd be thrilled if you became a subscriber. Um, I'm just getting started here on YouTube and I'm eager to see what the future holds. And uh, if you wanna be on the journey with me, that would be very, very nice. All right, kids, you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.